CBS presents this program in color. From Television City in Hollywood. Red Skelton Hour. We must not you out with the things we do, so get ready for round number one. Music and laughter go hand in glove, and this evening should be in the bag. Cause we went after some folks you love, who can swing with a song or a gag. Our guest star, Tim Conway. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I feel good. We're getting ready for Halloween around here, you know. And I just heard of a new game that Frank Sinatra is going to play this Halloween. See, he gets a great big tub and he fills it full of water and he bobs for his tea. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine what a Halloween is going to be this year with all those witches wearing mini skirts? <laughs> It'll be the first time in the history there are going to be more peaks than booze. <laughs> You know, Halloween is, is fun, but for the elderly folks, it's not very nice. Uh, and like last year, every two minutes, there's somebody knock on the door, and I get up and answer, and I, I felt sorry, not for myself, but for the couple next door. <laughs> now, they weren't elderly, they were newlyweds. <laughs> <laughs> I love little kids that knock on your door. One little kid knocked on my door last year, and he said, yeah. I said, who are you? He said, I'm one of the secret six. I said, the secret six? Where are the other five? He said, that's the secret. <laughs> and, and another embarrassing thing, moments that happened, there was one guy came to my door, and he was real weird. He had a beard down to here, painted toenails and flowers in his hair, and I says, Halloween, where's the trick-or-treat? He says, no, hippie, where's Sunset Strip? <laughs> hey, have you seen any of those hippies out here? I tell you, some of them... <laughs> they got long hair like Tarzan, and they, they dress like Jane, and they smell like Cheetah. <laughs> That's the night when, when things can really happen. I remember, like, a, a, a guy in a flying saucer, one of those Martians landed, see? And he walked up to this guy on the street, and he says, take me to your leader. And the guy says, I'm a Republican. Which one? <laughs> so he walked over to another guy, and he says, take me to your leader. The guy says, I'm a Democrat. We don't have any. <laughs> Equal time there. Equal time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, it, it must be Halloween because uh, around this time the, I have crazy dreams. Not my nightmares, but just crazy dreams. Like I dreamed that, that I was flying over Mount Rushmore and there were five faces. Yeah, five faces carved in the, wood, in, in the stone there Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, Roosevelt, and Shirley Temple. <laughs> hey, I got one. I got a joke for you now. Two, the two seagulls, Gertrude and Heathcliff. <laughs> Uh, says, Gertrude, uh, did you hear about uh, Willie the skunk marrying Polly the parrot? She said, Willie the skunk married Polly the parrot. That's the way he said it. <laughs> <laughs> Willie the skunk married Polly the parrot? He says, yeah. Now, that's the only kid in the world that skunk can say, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes when people put on costumes, they actually become... They believe that they're the character that they're dressed up as. So I'd like to do a little pantomime now of a little boy 
who has a choice of two costumes, a devil or an angel costume, see? And he becomes, I'll show you what I mean here. Red Skelton as Freddy the Freeloader, Tim Conway, Nancy Ames, and Jackie Coogan in Hippie Days Are Here Again. Mm -hmm. Officer Annecy reporting. Yes, yeah, Chief, the park is ready for the hippie love-in. We're clearing out all the hobos to make room for them. Freddy the freeloader? Well, Freddy's not up yet. <laughs> well, you know how cranky he gets if I wake him before 10. <laughs> Anything you say, Chief. <laughs> Freddy, the Chief says you gotta get up. Come on, get up, Freddy. I need to wake up with migraine dandruff. <laughs> Come on, out of there, out of there, Freddy, out of there. What's the matter with you, Head? You forget to set your club for daylight saving? <laughs> my goodness, it's still early yet, my good man. I gotta get some sleep here. I am not getting up until my usual time. You oh, don't... come on, Freddy, you gotta get up now. Oh, I gotta get some sleep. Uh, I'm so tired. There's something dead in the park. I'll tell you. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, look. Mademoiselle Fifi, I didn't recognize you without your sweater. This I gotta see. <laughs> Look at that upholstered lamb chop. <laughs> Good heavens, uh, an overgrown caterpillar. <laughs> hey, uh, there's one thing, if the gull don't trust us, I ain't gonna trust the French poodle, I'll tell you. Hi, Freddy. Yes. Good heavens, Muggsy, where have you been? Oh, I went down to the department store to get a hat. Well, it looks awful. Oh, you can't be too particular when the clerks are watching. <laughs> they did that to you, huh? But here, take this off. Ooh, what? You can't walk around Ooh. with a price on your head. No, I'm, I'm awfully sorry, Freddy, but, but the hippies are uh, taking the park over the big lovin'. We're giving them police protection. Now, you riffraff will just have to leave. You, you can't throw us out. No. This is our home. This is our home. We was born here. I was born here on this park bench. What? And Mother panhandled right up to the last minute. You know? <laughs> well, I don't know. The hippies are coming right away now. You, you get out of here, and that goes for your agent, too. <laughs> Come on. Out, 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 out. Here, just a moment. Get your billy out of my belly, bully. <laughs> you haven't heard the end of this? We're gonna take our case to the United Nations. And we may even go higher to Cassius Clay's lawyers. <laughs> well, that... Get out of here! Oh, Ow! Oh, like uh, all hail our beloved leader, our favorite flower child, a cherub sweet face. 
I didn't like the new outfit. Batman's nightgown. <laughs> oh. I dig it, man. I dig it. Oh, hi, Mom. Ah. <laughs> I see that the symbols are here. Symbols of everything we hate. Although we love a lot of things, a lot of stuff we hate, right? That's crazy. Good. All right, all bow your heads. <laughs> Catch any guys getting a haircut? Turn in your earrings. Hey, hey, now, there's a hobo loose around here, and I'm looking for his hideout. Have you seen a bum in the park? No. I saw Lolita seven times. <laughs> I'll find this bum. Uh -huh. Is this the love-in? Good heavens, it looks like a used people lot. <laughs> now the tweet. I've contemplated how life is before we became stupid. We'll now begin our sacred ceremony of balloon busting. <clears throat> I shall now vent my spleen. Watch it, buddy. We got mixed company. Hippies and bums here. Hand me the pin, please. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and now, this balloon represents hard work. Be gone. <laughs> Family that plays together. And now, this balloon represents all the ugly things in the world, like clean underwear. <laughs> Call it. And now, gee, I don't recall this one. <laughs> well, it must represent uh, the second ugliest thing in the world. Well, yeah, but when you're number two, you try harder. <laughs> and now, <laughs> farewell to Mother Love. Oh, he must be around here someplace. <laughs> oh, my nose, my nose. Now I know what a porcupine feels like on his honeymoon. Oh. <laughs> You're not a hippie. You're too well-dressed to be a hippie. Oh, my nose. Oh, listen, man, can I get you some iodine? No, I'm in pain, not thirsty. <laughs> well, we don't waste time on pain around here. No, we just spend all day sitting around here with our legs crossed. Here, really? show you. Yeah, it's like this. Good heavens, how'd you learn to do that? Huh? Oh, I learned it from my mother. Huh? <laughs> she used to work in a pretzel factory. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what a pretzel is, don't you? That's a breadstick with the cramps. <laughs> That's what it says right there. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, uh, would you help me up? Oh, yes, I'll do that for get you. Get some knots in my shorts. <laughs> oh, thanks. You mean to tell me if you get hit in the nose, you can cross your legs and it'll stop the pain? That's right, yeah. Well, supposing you, you get hit in the legs. Oh, yeah, and you just cross your nose. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you could do it. There's a bridge there. Mm -hmm. well, listen, hippies aren't so different than hobos. I mean, uh, there's only one difference between you and me. Oh, I can think of several. For one thing, <laughs> you can wear girls' clothes and not get arrested. You shaved close this morning, though, didn't you? <laughs> We're accepted by the police, and you're not. Here he is. Here, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Watch this. What are you going to do? Oh, uh, officer. Yeah? Here you are. A marigold. <clears throat> well, thank you very much. Uh, you just go ahead and try love on your newfound friend. Love on my newfound friend, yeah. huh? Here you are, officer Flatfoot. Take this petunia and stick it behind your ear. <laughs> it didn't work. Try again. It still didn't work. Try again. Better try it again. Never mind, it worked. <laughs> I tell you, there's nothing like a well rehearsed show. <laughs> and this is nothing like a well rehearsed show. <laughs> Now you've been my petunia here. You've been my petunia. Look, <clears throat> Freddie, I tell you what. Come what? over to our side and we'll change you from a hobo to a hippie. There'll be nothing but love and kissing and love and kissing and love and kissing. Really? You, you want what was at rehearsal or what's written over there? <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> All right. It's, if it's good enough for Richard Burton, it's good enough for me. Uh. <laughs> What time it is? Uh, like it's a quarter after dawn. Yeah, this is the day we're going to initiate Freddie into the hippies. <laughs> oh, 
must be that goat burger I had for dinner last night. Oh, boy. Oh. I sure had a beautiful dream. You, a good dream, huh? Yeah. What'd you dream? I dreamt I was 4F. <laughs> <laughs> you fired up on that. Yeah. Keep them coming like that, will you? That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> You know, when we're indoors, we sleep ten high, stacked oh, on top of each other. Really? What do you use for mattress? Me, I'm the softest. That's it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you're really hot tonight. <laughs> Say, what's holding you up there? There's two iron bars comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me help you out. Yeah, do that. See, there they are. See them? There they are. There they are. They didn't get them in quick enough. Look at that. See, there's two fellows back there. They worked at. Oh yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Wait, the other. <laughs> on over here. Yeah. Oh, pretty baby, I got good news for you. Like uh, today, we're gonna accept you into the hippies. Oh really? That's right. You right. know, I've never belonged to an organized or a group before. I've always been a Democrat. Uh huh. Well. <laughs> I don't want to slow the pace down, so I'll move right on. <laughs> well, we're ready for the initiation, Freddy. Yeah. That's going to be conducted by my wife. Oh. Yep, yeah. from a previous love hymn. Yeah, here she is now, the High Priestess of Purity. Hands off, Hannah. This is your wife, huh? Get a load of that. I'll give you two to one. There's an Israeli tank out in front. <laughs> There's one out there. <laughs> I know no love but love love, and love is my master. Freddie, are you really ready to renounce civilization? You mean and live in Pasadena? No, no. <laughs> it's not that drastic. All you have to do is give up your kind of bum and be our kind of bum. Yeah. 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 Say, didn't I meet you under a bed in Philadelphia? <laughs> yeah. We shall now destroy your symbol of hobohood. His mattress exploded, did uh -huh. you see it? Oh, no, you can't destroy that. That's my Betty Buy. That's my Betty Buy. Why, oh, that's the second thing I look uh, uh, at every morning. That's the second thing I look at when I wake up. What's the first thing you... The cue card. It's usually right uh -huh. over there. <laughs> What's the first thing you see when you wake up? My feet. My yeah. feet. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You ready for this? <laughs> well, when I wake up, I used to see three feet. Three feet? Mm -hmm. I used to sleep with my half-brother. <laughs> Hippies can't own anything useful. Discard Freddy's No, no, you no, can't. Right. You can't do that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This. Hey, how about that? A double bench. I was hoping someday to get married. Uh-huh. Well, we don't have any part of marriage around here. All right, boys, we're gonna throw it away. No, no, don't throw it away. I've got my chewing gum under there, and that doubles my pleasure. All right, boys. <laughs> One, two, four. Huh? Well, I was out of school the day they taught three. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, boys, out of here. Come on. Let's keep it moving. Heavens, I haven't heard a scream like that since Nasser looked in his soup and found a matzo ball. <laughs> officer, officer, Hennessy. You know, you're the first officer I've ever seen that's been mugged by a bench. Do you know what sort of bench can get you? Well, a hernia for one thing. I... <laughs> there you go. There, there's your brain. Uh... Oh, no, you don't. No, officer, you better remember, you can't hit us hippies. No, you can't do that. It's love-in season. That's right. Love-in season. And if you hit us, you'd have to kiss it and make it nice. <laughs> I gotta hit somebody. I can't take this hostility home to my wife. Oh. You! <laughs> <laughs> the padding's over here. Oh, here. <laughs> Put it on both legs. <laughs> if you want protection from the law, Freddy, you better change from a bum to a respectable hippie. And exit. <laughs> See, I'm glad he's gone because we really want you, Freddy. <laughs> Do you really want yes. me? Yes. Thank you very much. As the nudist said when he poured hot coffee in his lap. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, if we don't get work. Listen, we've got one very <laughs> sweet girl around here, Freddy. I tell you, all you gotta prove that you can do absolutely nothing with your time all day long. You mean like a congressman? <laughs> Basically. Mm -hmm. All right, the initiation ceremony begins. The initiation ceremony. <laughs> Please don't take my... I'm sorry, this dance is taken. Now look, scram, buddy. New rule from headquarters, the hippies are out. Now this is the group that's in. Oh, how terrible, they're normal. Right. We, we love school. We love our parents. We love school. We love our parents. We love school. We love our parents. Communists? <laughs> now, any hippie I find gets this. Uh huh. So, well, I'm not a hippie. I'm just dressed like this to scare people who have hiccups. <laughs> you look like a short beard. <laughs> Summertime, and the reruns are lousy. <laughs> ta 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 ti ta 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 ta. -ta. You remember me, Raymond Navarro? <laughs> oh. oh! Oh, you just sprung a leak in the roof of my mouth. Freddy, I have bad news for you. I heard it a while ago. I know. It's coming again. Freddy, the hippies are out and the normal nuts are back in. No. Yep. You don't mean it. Good. Oh, sweet face, I heard that the love end's over, so I brought you what's left of your smokes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, here, light up, be somebody. Here. Uh -huh. Here, I'll do it myself. Oh, I tore my sock. Yeah. Here you are. Here, well, light up, light up, be somebody. That light up. Be... good, I'll tell you. Mm. <laughs> there you are. There, there you are. Mm. There. Uh, you know, these are beginning to taste like old hockey pucks. <laughs> Well, Freddy, where do we go from here? I don't know about you, but I'm Alabama bound. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we would like for you to meet now a very talented, versatile young man. You know him from Wrangell, also from uh, McHale's Navy. As a matter of fact, that series run longer than a war. <laughs> We'd like you to meet now Mr. Tim Conway. Tim! We got a little surprise for you, everybody. Oh. Oh, good. Everybody at home is going nuts trying to figure out what are they doing? <laughs> You look good, you look Thanks. good. I saw you in a picture where you did a hippie thing, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a hippie thing. And uh, you're so cleaned up. How'd you do so quickly? Oh, well, it's easy. Before you put on those messy clothes, I just had myself fiberglassed. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good idea. Then when you, you get dirty, you just wipe yourself off with a damn cloth. Right, you know? right. But uh, you were so good as a hippie, I was convinced that you were a real one. Oh, thanks. I went into a lot of training for it. Yeah, I had a, I had a love-in going there. I, I was in love with everybody. Loved you everybody. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah sure, sure. How'd it work out? Not too good. My wife slugged me. <laughs> I'm a jealous woman, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, that'll work that way every time. You know, it's terrible. You should you never hit a hippie. Oh no. With never, a beard. Never. It may be no, somebody's sir. mother. Right. Yeah. <laughs> of course I'll I'll never have that trouble. Oh, <laughs> now you're self-conscious. Me, Not look, me. that doesn't bother you. You know what's wrong? Huh. Your skull is growing faster than your hair. <laughs> yeah, well, there's too much I can do about that. Oh, well, there is, there is. I've got a little thing, and I'm glad you thought about it, oh. because we've been rehearsing it all day. I thought so. <laughs> hey, uh, watch this. Uh-huh. Open sesame. Hey, sesame, open it up. Yeah. Oh, there you see, sesame, Joe sesame. <laughs> there it is. Uh -huh. Now, Miss Nancy Ames. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Nancy Ames. <laughs> Nancy, your father's a famous surgeon, and we're going to give him the old treatment tonight. We're going to do a little... I want you to help me here with his head. All right, I'd love to. All right. Anything to help beautify America. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, well... Uh, <laughs> Lady Bird would want it that way. Yeah, I it? thought she would, yeah. Well, I just thought maybe... Uh, do you think it's too small for a national park up there? <laughs> no, we can make it. We can make it another Mount Baldy. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Now, you go get in another outfit, and I'll start without you. Okay. What's that? Oh, I get it. Sit right down. 
<laughs> Mr. Gus is ready. I saw a guy on Piccadilly Palace do that. Uh huh. <laughs> See him do that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, you've got nothing to worry about, Timmy boy. Nothing at all. Uh huh. I think I'm going to worry just a little bit. No, uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, now, the first thing we've got to do is to get rid of all that loose skin, see? Oh. And we'll pull it up like that, and we'll bring the hair together like that, see? And we'll tie it in a knot up there. Uh -huh. See? See? Good heavens, what's that horrible gash in your throat? I think it's my navel. Okay. <laughs> The only trouble, the only trouble with this is that it brings your ears up too high. Yeah, I noticed that. If I wear a hat, I won't be able to hear. Yeah. yeah. The ears are in the wrong place anyhow. Oh. They should be made so you can unscrew them like that, and you get cold, you put them under your arm, see? You know, you scare people to death with a thing like that, you hear, you're under your arm. What did you say to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you are. Now, we'll keep working this up now. Uh -huh. Hey, do, we're ready to start. Twiggy, Twiggy, Twiggy. What's that? Oh, <laughs> never mind, it's too late now. There, Twiggy. <laughs> Looks like she's growing some extra branches. And <laughs> <laughs> we're going to perform the latest operation, some hair transplant. Uh -huh. Hair right, transplant. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to... You're kidding. Well, I was, but we've gone too far now. we got to go on with it. <laughs> Why, sure, we're just going to plant about 100 tiny little hairs up here. Yeah, well, wait a minute. i got 100 tiny little hairs up there. I don't see them. Well, they're all ingrown. <laughs> Good. No kidding. Oh, mm. looks like a... Looks like a bowling alley with one pin standing. Yeah. Here, all right. <laughs> We're going to transplant the hair from where you don't need it to where you do. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> we have to. But don't worry. We'll, we'll get some Novocaine. The Novocaine. Oh, the Novocaine Here's here. Novocaine and this won't hurt a bit. You put oh. that right up there like that. And I, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, look, I learned to wave fly by. <laughs> there you are. There, a little added something. Oh, there. good. There we are. Now, now, we're going to have to make a few holes. Give me the chisel. Uh, Holes, uh, <clears throat> look, I was just thinking, maybe it'd be better if I grew a beard and wore my head upside down. <laughs> well, that's no good when you eat soup that would run out of your nose. You know what? <laughs> well, I'll tell you that. Two holes up there. Uh -huh. Oh, I've hit a soft spot. Say, that is a dandy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> You're just about ripe, you know that? Yeah. Here. Here. Now we're ready for the topsoil. The topsoil. Uh, topsoil. The little of the topsoil. Look, am I supposed to worry about falling grass or, uh, or, uh, <clears throat> Seriously, folks. <coughs> Look, am I supposed to worry about falling hair or crabgrass? <laughs> no, you won't have to worry about that. I have some weed killer right back Got here. some weed killer. Oh. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Don't spray me with weed killer. Why not? Well, it's either that or rake your head twice a day. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, this wasn't in all day. <laughs>
And now, The Silent Spot, starring Red Skelton. Tonight, Red plays the part of an old codger who is broke and out of a job. Let's see what happens to the poor old man.
Here he is again, Red Skelton. Ladies and gentlemen, our sponsors and staff realize that product and entertainment serves to bring happiness into the home. If during this past hour we've given you but one second of pleasure, then our intent toward that happiness has been fulfilled. Good night for now, and may God bless. This is Art Gilmore speaking.